Well, Heidi, congratulations on your first professional contract. How are you feeling right now? I'm delighted. I'm literally over the moon. I found out yesterday, so I still can't get over it. Yeah, it seems to be quite a whirlwind 24, 48 hours for you. T take us through it. So when did you actually get the message from the club? Yeah, so I found out yesterday about one o'clock and then um, straight into testing today. So obviously getting used to what it's going to be like, straight to the hard work, yeah. I guess it was that's something you've always strived for since you were little playing football, but did you imagine this moment would come? No, like not especially not this early because I'm only 18 at the moment. So, yeah, it was like I'm over the moon really, yeah. Like you said, straight into tests in the last couple of days. How have you found that, you know, straight thrown in the deep end, really? Yeah, it's really, really been tough. Like, we had to do the mass test today, so that's 10 lengths of the pitch, and it's horrible. <laughs> the weather like this as well, really hot. And have you been made welcome so far? I guess, you know, people were, must have been sort of trying to take you under their wing very quickly coming up through the RTC ranks. Yeah, the team's been great with me, like, always welcoming, never, like, nasty or anything, yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself as a player. What What kind of player would you say you are yeah so I'm quite attacking an attacking player so I like to take on players I like to run past them and obviously goal scoring that's like what I aim for that's why I play play in the front areas I guess yeah winger or like striker yeah and how would you assess your time with the RTC because obviously you've, you've impressed to get to this stage mm -hmm. naturally yeah so I signed when I was 14 and then um, about a year and a half I've been training with first team in and out and then I've been offered to train pre-season and then obviously my contract yesterday. So it's bit, all came really fast, to be fair. Yeah, I didn't expect it. And how have you found it when you've sort of trained up with, with the first team group? Yeah, it's much different, but I feel like I've like adapted well because I, I, like, I like to think that I'm a hard worker. So, yeah, I've found it good, yeah. And what are the differences between that sort of youth football, if you want, into the, the senior football and, and the WSL? So it's like much quicker. So youth football's mm. slower and like, not as physical, whereas when I came here, it was like a shock because it was so quick and physical compared, yeah. And the the club has been renowned for producing its own players from, from mm. this region. You're from West Bromwich. You, you came yeah. over from <laughs> West Bromwich Albion, didn't you? Yeah. Just tell us a little bit about how you got involved in football and, and why you fell in love with the sport. Yeah, so I started when I was six, just at a local team. So obviously I'm from Tipton, so Tipton Town. And then um, when I was seven, then I signed for West Brom. And then I've played there all the way till I was 14. And then I just thought, like, women's football is growing. So then I went to a WSL one side and hoped that I could get in the first team. And it happened, yeah, so. And basically the, the RTC, Birmingham City, it's got a very good reputation, hasn't it? Was that a pull for you as well? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's a great RTC and, like, they, they have high expectations there. So it's good. So it gets you in, like, the right mindset from when you're young to get in the first team. What sort of players did you look up to or admire or follow when, when you were smaller? Um, so Aguero's got to be one, like, I like to go and watch Man City. Um, he's just, like, everything he does, so his movement off the ball, like, takes defenders away and he creates his own space. And then, obviously, he's, he's like, really good goal scorer. And then the top ones, like, Messi and Ronaldo, they're just, like, world class. So it's nice to look up to them just to see what you can, I don't know, pick up from them as much as you can, really, because, obviously, <laughs> you're never going to be that good. <laughs> What are you hoping to do? How do you hope to make your mark on the team, on the squad for this coming campaign? Um, so I'm not like, putting like too much expectation on myself, but I'm just like wanting to enjoy it really because I think that's the main thing and obviously see what happens with that and see what comes along with it. OK, thank you very much indeed and congratulations again. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks.